Hello, welcome back to our classroom. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to simplify algebraic fractions. Before we go ahead and simplify our algebraic fractions, we need to talk about how to simplify common fractions. Now in this example right here, we have three parts out of 15 plus five parts out of 15. We can add those two by saying three parts plus five parts, since they have the same denominator, by adding the numerators, we end up with eight parts out of 15. When we do not have the same denominator, we are faced with a different problem. In that case, we need to rename our fraction. And what we mean by renaming our fractions is that we need to find a way to write our fractions with the same denominator. Right now, this one has a denominator of five and this one has a de denominator of seven. And we need to rename them so that they have the same denominator. A simple way to do that is to take the seven from this fraction and multiply both the numerator and the denominator of this fraction. And take the five from this fraction and multiply both numerator and denominator of this fraction. So now, in multiplying it out, we get 7 times 2. That's 14 over 35 plus 5 times 3. That's 15 over 35. And now we can add them and get 29 over 35 by renaming them. Let's rename this one. We take this 5 and we multiply our numerator and denominator. And we take this 4 and we multiply our numerator and our denominator. 5 times 3 here gives us 15. Over 5 times 4 gives us 20. 4 times 2 gives us 8. Over 4 times 5 gives us 20. So what we have done is to make an equivalent fraction to 3 over 4, that becomes 15 over 20, and make an equivalent fraction of 2 over 5, and that becomes 8 over 20. We now subtract, and we get 7 over 20. So we use the renaming technique to answer those two questions. We may, we may use a modified method that kind of looks like renaming, but is not actually renaming. And that says, if we have two fractions, A over B plus C over D, we can get a similar result if we multiply A times D plus B times C over B times D. Trying this method on this question here, 2 over 5, plus 3 over 7 gives us 7 times 2 plus 5 times 3 over 5 times 7. And that gives us 14 plus 15 over 35, which gives us 29 over 35. Using the method on this question, 3 over 4 minus 2 over 5 gives us 5 times 3, that's 15, minus 4 times 2, 8, over 4 times 5, 20, which gives us 7 over 20. Whichever method you feel comfortable with as a student, you are free to use. The question will not mark you or penalize you for whatever method you choose to use. The renaming method is very important, and that is how understanding is built, especially at lower school. And it works with algebraic fractions. So if you want to use it, go ahead and use it, if you feel comfortable with it. If you want to use this mixed method, then go ahead and use it as well. Now let's try it out on the questions here. So here we have two fractions, and we're asked to write them as a single fraction, which means we must write them as one fraction. So we can rename them by saying q, multiply both by q, and multiply both by 2. In which case we get here 3 
P Q over two Q plus two P over two Q. And we can add those together and get three PQ plus two P over two Q. We could factor out the P here, but for now, we're just going to leave it alone. If we wanted to use the modified version, then having 3p over 2 plus q over p over q, we simply say 3p times q, which gives us 3pq, plus 2 times p over 2 times q. It does tend to work things out a bit faster than renaming. And this becomes our answer. In this question, we can rename it by saying 2 times 5 over 2 times y minus 2 times 7 over 2 times y plus y times 1 over y times 2. And this gives us 10 over 2y minus 14 over 2y plus y over 2y. Now they have the same denominator. We can go ahead and add them. So we have 10 minus 14 plus y all over 2y, which gives us negative 4 plus y over 2y. And that there is our answer. Let's try it again with other questions. In this one, I'm going to be using the mixed method. And the mixed method, as said before, given A over B plus C over D, we proceed by saying A times D plus B times C over B times D. So I'm going to use this method here. Of course, you could rename them. Now we say 3 times Y minus 2 times y, 3 times y minus 2 rather, minus 2 times y over y times y minus 2. Multiplying out, multiplying out our numerator, we end up with 3y take away 6 minus 2y over y times y minus 2. And that gives us 3y take away 2y is y, put back our minus 6, and write back our y into y minus 2. Now, I should say here that notice that this y minus 6 and that y minus 2, under no circumstances are you supposed to cancel these two y's. You cannot do a cancellation when you have a plus or a minus sign between your terms in your numerator. So that y and that y cannot cancel each other out. We leave that as it is. Using the same technique here, we say three times. 2x plus 3 minus 5 times x plus 2 over 5 times 3, which is 15. Simplifying our numerator gives us 6x plus 9 minus 5x minus 10 over 15. And that leaves us with 6x take away 5x is x, and 9 take away 10 gives us a minus 1 over 15. And even when we have double expressions in our denominators, the technique works just as well and a bit faster than when we rename, but renaming works. So if you feel comfortable with renaming, go ahead and rename. So we have two times x plus one minus three times x minus one over bracket x minus one bracket x plus 1. In the numerator, we have 2x take away 2 plus, and that's not a plus, that's a minus. So let's write our minus. 3x plus 3. Notice it's a negative 3 and a negative 1. And this is actually a plus. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times positive 1 is a positive 2. All right, now that we have that fixed, over x minus 1 and 
x plus 1. Tidying up our numerator, 2x take away 3x gives us a negative x. And 2 plus 3 gives us a 5. And that is over x minus 1, x plus 1. So like I said, the, new, the renaming method works perfectly. It does take a bit longer to write it out. Um, this modified method has a way of giving your answer a little bit quicker if you want to use it, as I'm using it here. In this example, we are multiplying. And in this example, we are dividing. So we are not going to rename. We are simply going to multiply across. But in multiplying across, we see some things that can be cancelled out or divided out. So let's write it out as we see it. 2 times 3 gives us 6. PQ times x squared gives us PQX squared over 5 times 6 gives us 30. XYP. And now we see some things that can cancel out. So we have our fraction. We have a single fraction. Those were two. Now we have one. And we can now do some division. Now we can say 6 into itself goes 1. 6 into 30 goes 5. We notice that our p's can cancel out. We notice that we can take an x from this x square. And leave with an x. So in our numerator, what we end up with is qx. qx over 5 times y. 16 to 35, p cancels, x cancels, leaves us with a y in the denominator, left with a p and an x, q and an x rather, in the numerator. In this question, we have 2x over x plus 1 squared divided by 12 over 5 into x plus 1. As for the rule for dividing fractions, we proceed as follows. So we write our 2x over x plus 1 square multiplied by the inverse of this, the inverted form of this, rather, 5x plus 1 over 12. And having done that, we see where we can do some division. So this x plus 1 can divide that x plus 1 square and leave us with x plus 1. And we can divide this 2x by 2, leaves us with an x, and divide that 12 by 2, and it gives us a 6. So we end up with, in our numerators, 5 times x over 6 times x plus 1. We have simplified our fractions. So you can either use your, for addition and subtraction, you can use the renaming method, or you can use the method of, it's a mixed method of just multiplying and simplifying. So 3 times y minus 2, minus 2y. Or you can simply multiply everything by y minus 2, y minus 2, y and y. Use your, use your renaming method or use the mixed method. Whichever method you feel comfortable with as the student, you should use that method and practice it so that you become good at it. And in multiplying and division and dividing, we do not use renaming. We simply multiply across or follow the rules for division. Thank you for watching. And I hope that you are now able to simplify to algebraic fractions.